TitleMatchNetwork.com. I was on one. I think I was on the first world line. I worked with Lawler for this particular night or whatever. They didn't need me to come to Manhattan, to Manhattan Center and work on Raw. So I said, well, let me watch the show. I mean, I'm working for the company and watch the show. So they got Razor Ramon goes out there and he's the Intercontinental Champ at the time. Well, one, two, three, kid, it was a non-title match, of course, but that should have lit it, that should have, that should have, red light should have went off my head on that one. So uh, one, two, three, kid gets up the top rope and does whatever he does, a moonsault or whatever finish he does and beats Razor Ramon right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three, well, fuck, I popped up out of my chair. I said, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I said, after all these years, I said, of my loyalty to the company and as many jobs as I've done or put people over and I've done everything the company's wanted me to do, except for the other thing we talked about earlier, <laughs> which I wouldn't do any, never happened. But, um, you know, I said, I, I, I can't, this is it. This is the straw that's gonna break the back of Jim Powers. Powers. So next time I saw Vince, which is one of our rare, Ever, you know, you don't, not too many people get to speak to Vince. Was often. he approachable? I was a nervous young young man at the time. So, is he approachable? I don't know. I don't. I didn't really. Uh, I didn't really get to. Uh, I didn't have any. That. I mean, I may have had a lot of issues, but uh, to me, no. Okay. To me, no. He gives you that overbearing, the feeling like you know, you know, leave this. You know. Anyway, so let me get back to the, uh, the sure. one, two, three kid deal. So what happened there is I, we were up in Canada somewhere and, you know, here I am. I said, I got to talk to him. I got to talk to him. I got to, you know, and now here I am. I'm, I'm waiting. When is he going to cross my path? Where is he going to be? Because, you know, you know, so we finally we're standing within about five feet of each other. And I grabbed myself like some, now, you know, when you're nervous as shit, you know, you're drinking water, you're drinking water, which I'm not really nervous today. But um, so I drink some water and I'm chewing on ice cubes and my mouth is all fucking dry huh. and shit. Right. So I said, uh, I said, Vince, I talked to you for a second. I stand right there. Now, why can't I talk to him? But anyway. That's the way I was, you know, I was a nervous little kid and all was my job. So I said, Vince, you know, I said the other night, I said, I wasn't on Raw. I said, but I'm sitting home and I'm watching the show. I said, this new new kid, young man comes in. I said, one, two, three, kid. And you give him a win, a clean win. One, two, three, no pun intended, right in the middle of the ring over your intercontinental champion. He goes, yeah. I said, Vince, I said, I've been with you all these years. I've, I've been loyal to you. I said, I've done what I was told. I've put people over. I've done jobs. I've, you know, all that stuff. I said, you know, you could have done that for me. Well, his great answer was, you know, Jim, you're right. I could have, period. Well, fuck, where do I go from there? So now my mouth's getting dry and I'm chewing the fucking ice chips and, you know, I'm, you know, nervous as a whore in church. And so I take a step back and I, I, I got to respond to this somehow. You know, I just can't walk away like this, right? Huh. So I said, I mean, me and my big fucking brainstorm, I said, well, Vince, I said, the best thing I could come up with at the time was, you know, Vince, I said, uh, maybe Jim Powers has been beat too much on TV. You know, he's, he's done jobs a lot and people see him put other people over a lot. And maybe it's time that Jim Powers take a break off the damn TV and uh, maybe four or six months and bring Jim Powers back as a new character and a fresh face. Because, you know, fans are fickle, wrestlers are... Uh, uh, wrestling fans are fickle. They forget from, if you don't see somebody on TV for two weeks or three weeks, you forget, you forget about them. I says, and you know, after a few months, I'll come back and we'll do something new with Jim Powers, a fresh, you know, a fresh start, a new gimmick or something. He goes, okay, well, fuck, you know, I think of something thinking, well, great, this is going to be great. In three, four or five, whatever months I said, I'll come back and you know, they're going to put something new on me. Some create, I don't know what, whoever the creative department was, if they even had one at the time, we're going to come up to do something with me. They'll give me a call. Well, fuck after about six months, I find myself sitting at home, my hands on my ass, no money coming in, you know, and, and where's my job? So now I start calling. So I'm calling and I'm calling and I'm calling and, you know, it's, well, he's in a meeting, he's in a, he's always in a fucking meeting. Everyone's always in a meeting up there. But anyway, so I find myself doing that and I go, I realize, I finally realized to myself, it just hit me and I said, I said, I just need to get my job back. You know, whatever it is, it is. And that's the position they want me in. So let me just keep calling and calling. And finally I called, I got somebody. And they start booking me again and gets back to, I was just happy to be there. And that's when I came to the realization for that time that I was off that this is what they have for you. This is the job. This is the position. If you want it, take it. And I've said this countless times. If you want this job, take it. This is what we have. This is what we have right now. We can't promise you anything in the future. If you want it, take it. If not, there's a hundred other guys at least at the door that will take that job. So I said, I want my job back. I took my job. I kept my, I, you know, kept my tail between my legs and did what I, I came to the realization that this was my job, this was my position, and that's it. And so that's uh, 
That was the story on the one, two, three kitten razor, Ramon and me, my uh, interaction with Vince.